from a fallout shelter in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. I can't hear you. Turn up the hearing aid, Grandma. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show, but it's not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. How many of you enjoying the sports orgy we have going on right now? <laughs> boy. We got the baseball playoffs, soon to be the World Series. And no New York Yankees again. How great is that? We got the NFL season in full swing. We got college football in full swing. NBA training camp. People hanging uh, by their thumbs waiting to hear about Kobe Bryant being traded, which... I imagine it's going to happen soon. I heard today the Dallas Mavericks. Just a rumor. Oh, yeah. And, of course, hockey season in full swing. And, uh, and this is the time of year when there's more sports on TV than any other time. And if you add in the final six weeks or so of NASCAR... Uh, it's just uh, incredible. There's so much on. So many sports. I'm not embarrassed to say, as a guy, I love sports. I love watching them. Some I like playing. I like playing tennis. I like playing baseball or softball. I do like getting out there. But I love watching. And... Um, one thing you find when you eliminate the female influence in the home you know, is that there's no limit to how much you can watch. Now, I'm a freak. I got uh, a package from DirecTV that very few people have. Last I knew, it was under 300 people. It was called the uh, Titanium Package, and I'm not making this up. Uh, if you go to the DirecTV website, you can find it. Uh, you pay a uh, lump sum. I uh, I paid it for this year, seventy five hundred dollars for the year, which is um, what about six hundred and fifty bucks a month? Figuring out about six fifty, six seventy, something like that. But you get every channel that Directv has, every single channel, all of them, and that means all the sports, and I mean everything. There's always a game on. You know what I found now? As far as, like, primetime shows, entertainment shows, whatever, that's what I watch when the sports go off. So um, the time that I see primetime television is midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. That's when I see the shows that the rest of the country is watching at, you know, 7, 8, 9 p.m. Because you got sports on. I'd rather save the movies and the sitcoms and all the entertainment programming for when there's no sports. Sports has become my favorite. You know, people love talking about unscripted television shows like reality shows. What's a better reality show than a ball game? Any ball game. You kidding me? It's the best. And um, no chicks around means... No vacuum cleaner would kick off, no fights, no arguments, no compromising, no cutting down on my viewing. And then when I have chicks come over, all you have to do, 
You just TiVo uh, the games that night that you want to see. And I've got seven DVRs at home, seven of them. So I can have every game waiting for me when I'm done banging around. Then I can watch primetime TV at 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., or the next day. Now, I know many of you boys um, are ensconced. You're nasty. You got the girlfriend. You got the fiance. You got the squeeze. You got the live in. Or maybe you got the wifey. And um, there are rare exceptions. And I know they'll all try dialing in here. I know there are rare exceptions. There are women who are cool about us watching sports. But the reality is. Um, we don't want chicks watching sports with us for the most part. We watch sports to get away from chicks. We watch sports when we're not getting laid. We watch sports hoping you'll leave the room, ladies. We do. And um, as I've said on this program before, sometimes you can see uh, you can see guys uh, who are going to great lengths to watch sports and to get rid of the little lady because they're heading out to Hooters or the ESPN zone or they're uh, hanging out at whatever the local sports bar is. The vast majority, by the way, I rarely see any unmarried guys at sports bars. I mean, I'm sure there are some, but the vast majority of these guys have wedding rings on. These are guys who need to get out of there. They do not want to be around the little lady. They are out. I mean, they're not going to the sports bar to meet chicks. They aren't even necessarily going to get hammered. They just want to get away from the chicks. That's it. They want to get away from the from the girlfriend, from the wife, from the living. That's what going to a sports bar is all about. By the way, why do we go to sports bars? Well... Because those of us who have wives and girlfriends, right, many of us are forbidden to have uh, plasma screens or forbidden to have flat screens in the living room or, you know, she wants to watch um, Extreme uh, Makeover Home Edition or whatever girly show she wants to watch on the big screen. And, and in order to see the game, we need to vacate the premises. And that's the reason I think you don't see a lot of unmarried guys at sports bars. It's because... I could sit on my living room sofa and watch the big game on the big screen. I don't have to leave home to do that. I used to have to leave home to do that when I had a girlfriend, but now I don't. When I come home, it's game time. That's it. Or I've got my hockey tickets when I'm ready to go to the hockey game. That's it. I'm going. There'll be no debating whether I can give up tonight's game or the next game or whether I can only go to half the games and give the tickets to somebody else or couldn't I. I one time I was with a chick. I actually was given a list of ticket brokers. And I was told, you know, you can sell off the tickets you don't want. So, what makes you think I don't want them? Oh, you don't want them. <laughs> So, it is one of the things, I mean, I kiss the ground I walk on every day. Because I can uh, get up in the morning, read the sports page, look at the uh, the listing of what games are on TV tonight, and then I can plan, you know, when I come home alone at night from work, if I'm coming home and I'm not getting late, if I'm coming home, I can make plans, dinner, the game, I'm going to sit there and watch it on the big screen in my living room. Maybe light the fire. It's fantastic. How many of you boys are under pressure now? Because, you know, you've got to keep up with a lot of sports right now. There's a lot of things going on. Are you kidding? Gary and I are uh, working on going to the Texas Motor Speedway in a couple of weeks to see NASCAR. Because that... Uh, Next Hell Cup is coming down to the wire. And, um, you know, if we had chicks, would we be able to do that? Probably not. Probably not. And uh, never mind the fact that I can watch NASCAR at home when I've got the big screen on. And it's the HD that drew me into NASCAR, man. Seeing the all that action out there in HD. The best. It's the best. 
you know, trying to keep up with the baseball playoffs. By the way, did I tell you the New York Yankees were eliminated? <laughs> yes. Notice no New Yorkers have been calling in ever since the Yankees were eliminated. We have not gotten one call from a New Yorker. Not even one. Nobody referring to California is out here. No, I haven't gotten one person. They're all weeping. They're all wondering if Joe Torre is coming back. Yeah. See, that'll make it complete. We need the Red Sox eliminated also. That's going to be a perfect world. It's not perfect for the networks. Cleveland playing Colorado. <laughs> Small markets. <laughs> I'm sure baseball won't be happy about that. Baseball would like to have, like, the Cubs. Well, of course, the morons, the Yutzes in New York, they'd all like to see the Yankees playing the Mets, and they think the rest of the country, that's all we want to see. I think there's morons in New York who don't even understand baseball well enough to know if the Yankees can't play the Red Sox in the World Series. They'd like to see that. I think the Yankees and the Red Sox will just break away, form their own league. At the end of the season, whoever's in first place wins the championship. Whoever's in second place loses. Let's have a 162-game World Series between the two teams. Be done with it. But there's a lot to keep up with right now, and I'm wondering if you're getting interference. Are you getting flack? Are you getting complaints? Are you getting uh, the vacuum cleaner turned on? Are you getting driven away to sports bars? Do you find yourself having to leave the house? Do you find yourself having to tell her to, to get lost, to drop dead, or get out of your way? I'm really curious. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You need fat at certain places of the body. Yeah, right. And if you got big boobs, come on in. It's the Tom Likas Show. Southern California's FM Talk Station. 97.1 Free FM. It's the Tom Likas Show. I'm 1-800-5800-TOM. No time of year is there more sports on the tube. This month is the busiest month there is for sports. How's that working out for you on the home front? Alfonso, you're on the Tom Liga show. Hello. Oh, Tom. Yeah. Forget, forget about just trying to watch sports this time of year. Try having to take bets, booking bets. You got guys calling in 13, 14 parlays. They're playing their six point teasers, super teasers. They're trying to buy points. And then you got some girl in the background telling you, is this all you're going to be doing all weekend? Is this all you're going to be doing all day? I'm telling you, the NFL, NBA this time of year has cost me at least three relationships. Easy. That should send you a message. Yeah, yeah it's, it's stick with the sports betting. It's more fun and more lucrative. <laughs> yeah, who, need, who, needs a, who needs a relationship? For God's sake. Exactly. I mean, I, I'm answering to other guys. And, you know, in the last 15 minutes before 10 o'clock on a Sunday, those points are changing a half point here and a half point there. You can't mess up. And the last thing you need is some girl henpecking you. And, you know, God forbid you took her out and showed her a good time on Friday night. That way she would leave you alone on the weekend. You think she'd do that? No, they want the attention. That's right. Yep, attention whores. They won't mind if you spend your winnings on them. They just uh, <laughs> they don't want to have to sit around and watch it. Oh, exactly. Oh, yeah, they love the, 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 the champagne and everything else. But like I said, they just, the fact that I was there, and I was diverting attention from them into something, a whole other world. She couldn't fathom it. Yep. She couldn't fathom it. I know. Yeah. Tom, take me out JFK Jr. style, please. JFK Jr. style, Alfonso. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, here comes Ken on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Ken, first time, long time. Thank you. I get one Sunday off a month. They sell cars for weekends, so I have to work on the weekend. So I got one Sunday off. A month. Are you with me? No, I left the room. And then the then the wife when I get on the couch. 
the, she says, and I swear to God, it sounds just like this. Oh, my God. Are you planning to watch football all day? <laughs> then I'm out of there, man. And where do you where do you go? Do you go to the sports bar? Absolutely. The nearest sports bar, I crawl in there. and Well, I walk in there and I crawl home, man. <laughs> yeah, I see the look on her face when I get home after that, bro. Then it's a whole explanation. Have you been drinking? Yeah. Absolutely. With my friends. And I'm happy as hell. But I know, you know that's the... I want to say this. I think these bitches ought to be happy that you're watching at home. You're not in a bar. You're not driving around. You're home. But that's not good enough. Then they have to complain about what you're doing when you're home. Exactly. And that's the clue for me to leave. As soon as she says that, I know a thing, a light bulb goes off on my head, and I'm out the door, man. Unbelievable. I totally understand, Ken. Tom, take me out with a bong hit and a thank you, Jesus, and God bless your show. I love it. Here you go, Ken. Thank you, Jesus. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. More sports on television this time of year than any other time of year. This month of October, more going on. I got baseball playoffs, uh, NFL in full swing, college football in full swing, NASCAR heading down to the Y. You got the NHL, you got hockey in full swing. You got the NBA preseason, and you got the uh, training camp going on there. I mean, uh, there, there is never a time of the year when there's more sports on. What happens at home? What happens when your wife or girlfriend or your live-in sees you watching sports on TV? How do they react to that? 1-800-5800-TOM is her telephone number. This is Ivan on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? This is Ivan. I just got to say that how come women have to treat guys like that? I mean, that's the only piece of time that you get to watch, you know, whatever sport you like, basketball, football, has set that out, whatever it is. But why they got to bitch at you for that? I'm serious. Why, why, why can't they just let you watch a sport, you know, comfortably with uh, chips, you know, soda and stuff like that? I'm telling you, man, I get it all the time from my yeah. From my you life. sit around, you sit around while they're watching Desperate Housewives or Brothers and Sisters exactly. or novellas or whatever they're watching. Come on, it's what it's like whenever they want to watch novellas. It's like, oh, turn off the channel or put it on this channel, put it on this channel. But whenever you want to watch something like, you know, football or basketball or Kobe Bryant, you know, sh- oh, they bitch about that. Why do they have to do that? Come on. You know, is, is, I'm, I'm serious. Is there a lady out there that doesn't complain about that? I'm serious. I don't think there is. Yes, Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't think she's my type, though. <laughs> I, don't th- I don't think she's any guy's type. Well, Tom, I just wanted to go ahead and give you a call on that because, you know, that's very true what you're talking about. So what do, you, what do you do about it, Ivan? What do I do about it? I mean, definitely what I do is just go out to my um, friend's house to go take some Coronas over there and just, you know, try to kick it. Because he li- he's a bachelor, so he lives by himself. And when, what I do is just basically that, just go out and just drink with them. And that's the only, you know, piece that I get because when I'm at home, it's like, can you take out the trash? Can you do this? Can you do that? Come on, why they got to, you know... Do, do it like that. Yeah, well, that's that's the deal. You got to put your foot down. By the way, that's right, The Bachelor. You had to go see The Bachelor <laughs> yeah. because that's where the game is always on. And when I'm always drunk, I'm always getting advice from him. He's he's just like, you know, you just come on over with me. You know, I'm not going to bitch at you and this and that. You know, we can call some hoodies over here and we can just kick it. And it always works out fine. And when I go home, you know, I'm satisfied. And it's not that... It's not like I go home all, you know, all down and stuff. Ivan, thank you for that. Thank you, Tom. Can you blow me out with a, whatchamacallit, a bong? With a bong hit? Sure I can. Here you go, Ivan. Thank you, Jesus. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Cosme on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going, Tom? Going great. I wanted to call in because uh, you were talking about NASCAR for the past uh, half hour. Well, you've been talking for a while, but I wanted to ask you, who's your favorite driver? Well, i got to tell you, I was following that Casey Kane because last year he had such a great year. This year, by the way, he's uh, has not had as good a year, but he's been coming back in the last few weeks, if you've been paying attention. 
Oh yeah, I've been watching every game, um, every I'm sorry, every race. A little nervous here. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I'm telling you what, if you have HD. I don't think there's anything better than NASCAR in HD. It's spectacular. And on DirecTV, they've got that hot pass where you can follow one driver all day long. It's the best. Yeah, it's cool. Um, yeah, I got HD, and, and the clarity is just incredible. And you guys, and the sound. HD. I mean, the sound is better in HD, and that's, that's the thing. I mean, if you've ever been to the race in person, it's all about the noise, man. That's what it's all about. And to, to hear that in Dolby surround sound in your living room, how great is that? It's great. Uh, you said you're going to Texas, or you want to go to Texas? I, we're working on it, yeah. Uh, I'm going to Phoenix with the wife, man. We did Phoenix uh, the, last year, as a matter of fact. Had a blast. Oh, had had a really good time. Well, I just want to thank you, and uh, take me out. This is going to be sick. Take me out, Dale Earnhardt style. <laughs> All right, Cosby, here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Here's Amy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom, I'm a new listener. I've listened to you for about five months, and I'm really surprised that you're letting all these guys come on your show and complain about, well, my wife doesn't let me watch NFL or she doesn't let me watch basketball or football. I'm one of those wives that bitch at my husband about not, you know, watching sports when the lawn should be done or something like that. But isn't that what you preach? Shouldn't they? Okay, first of all, watch your mouth because we're on the air. <laughs> no, don't laugh. It's not funny. But, but they, Hello? They love, they love Can laughing. you hear me? Can you hear me? I do. I'm sorry. Right, well, I'm trying to tell you something. You use the S word. We can't be cursing. This is the radio. You can't do it. All right. I apologize. It's not funny. There's a $325,000 fine if you get caught doing that. All right. And we're billing it to you. But it just, I just wanted to say that it just surprised me that you let all these whining guys who have girlfriends or wives at home that are saying, wow, wow, my wife doesn't let me watch so-and-so shows, then boot them out. That's what you preach. Well, that's what, that is what I preach. And by the way, they're pussies. They are pussies. <laughs> And, you know, my husband is one of those because I'm one of the whiner, whining wives that say, no, you need to do this. You need to get this done, so turn off your stupid TV show. Why are you such a and... nagger? <laughs> because they let me. That's why. Because I can. Isn't that interesting? So I'm just listening. I'm like, what? I'm surprised you're letting all these guys just I would never. I would, ne I would put you in your place so fast. I would never tolerate your crap. <laughs> never. So then why would you let these guys who tolerate their wives' crap um, talk on your show that long? Well, I'm letting everybody talk on the show. Everybody can call in and talk, just like you. <laughs> I just think it's funny. But I, but I would not tolerate your crap. I'm telling you right now. I know. You I tried know you it wouldn't. on me. And by the way, you, mm -hmm. you'd stand at attention when I uh, tell you to get lost. You would. I probably wouldn't. I actually went. I went on your website to see what you look like because you're talking about all these girls that you have. And I look almost as good as you. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, the girls that you have, they must really like money. If you know, that's well, kind of dear, funny. there's not a woman out there. If you have a vagina, you like money. That's why God made it shaped like a purse. I don't care how much money you have, Tom. Yes, I know, I know, I know. I know you get a lot of pleasure calling up and saying all that stuff. But guess what? I get to go home to my money again tonight. And you don't. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Shane on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. You, Tom, what's up? Uh, the ratings right on. came out yesterday. Pretty good. Excellent. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why these guys are calling in saying, um, I have to go out and watch sports at a sports bar when, you know, they pay for the house, they put the TV. If I want to watch sports, I tell my wife, hey, I'm watching a football game. Either watch the small TV, go read a book, and before you do, go make me something to eat. Right. And fold my socks. <laughs> exactly. So the lady that just called had a point, but uh, she's precisely the, the reason why I didn't marry an American woman. Then suck the chrome off my trailer hitch. <laughs> right on, Tom. Blow me up. 
Here you go, baby. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's Nick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Hey, nothing. I uh, just want to let you know I got married about a year and a half ago. Uh, Long time girlfriend, and every single time that there's sports on. She gets me food, beer, anything I need. I don't have to lift a finger. I just tell her what I want. She goes and gets it. She sits down and watches the sports with me. I had to teach her whatever it, sport was. I mean, she knew hockey, but other than that, she didn't know any other sport. She sits down with me, watches the games. Anything I need, she gets up and gets. I love that. <laughs> I, I don't know what I did to deserve her, but she's a good one. And? She works and pays three quarters of the bills we make. How great is that? Crack that whip, baby. I didn't even have to. She just came that way. I have to thank all the. What country is she? Wait, what country is she from? Um, what country is she from? Yeah. <laughs> Here, she's American. Oh, I thought you said she was like foreign woman or something. Oh no, she's American. Uh, she's a big Kings fan, just like I am. So I thought you might like that too. I, I like it a lot, Nick. I'll see you at the game. Dom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. Stop trying to pretend that you're smarter than you are, because you're not. I'm just a dumb bitch like the rest of the girls who call, right? Better words were never spoken. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like a show from Hollywood at one 800 800 tom Busiest season of all. This is the month when almost every sport there is is playing. How's that playing at home? 1-800-5800-866. Vanessa, hello. Vanessa? Yes? Are you busy? No. I've said your name and there was no response. I can hear you. I can hear your breathing. That's the static. I'm not breathing right now. That's the static. Well, no, you were breathing. You just weren't talking. Okay. When do you plan to begin? Should I put that in my uh, put that in my palm? I'll make an appointment. What time do you plan to start talking sure. to me? Okay, I'll talk right now. First of all, I don't like your attitude against women. And second of all, uh, all tell the tell the person callers. in the background to shut up. Let's start with it. What? Person yelling in the background. Tell them you're on the air and to shut up. Shut up. Okay, is that better? What is it you don't like specifically? I don't like the way you guys are degrading women, talking about that they complain about how we don't like to let them watch their football or whatever. Well, you, many of you don't. Yeah, that's you can't, like, make a generation. Yes, I can. A few. I'm broadcasting. Yes, I can. Okay, well, that's certain women. Few of them, not all of them. Did you say women's? Yes. Certain women's? Certain women. There are some women who like to watch football with their husbands or whatever. But most don't. Most complain about it. Most interfere with it. Well, then those women need to make a compromise with their husband or something so people can stop. No, I think the guys need to dump that bitch. What? Forget the compromising. Okay, and how are you going to talk to that one lady about how she's cussed on there when you just said the B word just now? Because bitch is allowed. Okay, well then how come all the other words aren't allowed? Uh, you have to talk to your congressman about that. I have nothing to do with it. Okay, well, you should have stopped yelling at her. And like you, you would know who you like you would know who your congressman is. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Yeah, actually. Who's your congressman? I don't know. I don't like politics. There we go. That's my point. Well, then why don't you say you who made is? my who point is? for me? Who is it then? I don't. I don't live where you live, dear. 
Okay, well, where do you live? I live in the Hollywood Hills. Okay, well, that's great. It is great. Yeah, who's the congressman of your Hollywood Hills? Uh, Actually, Henry Waxman. Okay, that's great. He's a Democrat. Okay. You're filthy mouth again. Do it one more time, and I'm going to hang up on you. Okay, hang up. Hang up. All right, I will. Unbelievable. There you go. Why don't you respect women, Tom? Why don't you respect women? <laughs> That's why. There's an example. 1-800-5800-TOM. Amelia on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, I was just calling with a simple solution for everybody. Well, well, for the women especially, I'd say just dump the loser that they're with and turn into a lesbian. Go lesbo. That's it. That's the solution right there. You don't have no guy watching sports telling you to fold and wash your clothes or telling you to have your dinner ready when he gets home. That's a bunch of bull. Yeah, now you'll get a diesel dyke telling you to do all that. Oh, no, not no dyke. Trust me, my girl is beautiful she, mm. every time we go out i mean it kind of annoys me that so many guys compliment her and i'm not the dyke either really i don't know i don't know what you'd call it i don't know i haven't seen the two of you <laughs> well i have pictures on the internet i haven't seen your picture well but send those over but the other girl said i don't know if i want to see it no you don't want to see <laughs> so what is it that a girl did to you that you have so much against them. I don't have anything against women. Well, why every you man should so every much? What, what every man every man should own one. Wait, I let you speak. Are you gonna no, no, me? no? There, this is a dialogue, not a monologue. And you're not going to tell me how to do the show. I'm not telling you. I don't I care asked, if you're I a dyke asked. or not. I don't care, but you're not going to tell me how to do the show. Okay, so what did your mom do to you that you have so much against women? Again. I answered your question already. Do you have anything else? Uh, well, the- I guess you don't. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Leanna on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. So, uh, so I just wanted to say that um, the past couple of girls, they definitely need to respect you a little better and watch what they're saying. Filthy like mouths. That- filthy. Yeah. What's that about? They call and you give them time on the air and they disrespect you like that? Right. <laughs> What um what I wanted to comment on the first girl that called was that she needs to respect her husband enough for marrying her to do what he says while he's watching his shows. So if he says, get me some food, you get him some food. If he says, bend over backwards, you bend over backwards. I'm not even married. I'm just with my boyfriend. He called me. I'm hungry. I left my class, got him some food, took it to him, and nice. I'm on the way back to class. Very nice. But you, he, like, won't be leaving. Woman, he won't be leaving you anytime soon. No, <laughs> and I'm going to make sure and do whatever he needs. And no, it's not that, you know, I'm just doing every little thing he needs. He respects me back. He doesn't treat me like dirt. He just tells me I need this, I need that, and I get it for him. And I don't ask for a single dime back, except on my birthday. Sounds good to me. <laughs> um, Tom, definitely, I think those girls should respect you. And I know that you don't hate women. You just think that they should just respect their husbands right. and do as they say. By the way, Dino wants to know if you have a sister. Yes, I do, actually. Really? Yes, I have two sisters. Are they the same as you? Um, not my oldest sister and my middle sister. Um, she's my oldest sister. She's married, but she's nothing like me. My middle sister, she's completely the opposite of me. Oh, that's no good, Dean. You're out of luck. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> you gave it a shot. Well, thank you, Leanna. Thank you, Tom. Can you blow me up? Of course, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Jesse on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Jesse. Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm great. Um, I'm, you know what? I just started listening to your show about a month and a half ago, and I think you are great. I love you for telling the truth, and I just can't believe these girls. Talking and disrespecting you like that. You, and I, you see how angry it makes the girls when I tell the truth. 
but you know what? You're just telling the truth. There's no reason for them to be angry. They should respect you. It takes a lot of... Because those are the kinds of bitches I'm talking about. That, yeah. <laughs> that they are angry at me because they're doing exactly what I'm talking about right here. Exactly. Um, well, I just wanted to comment about uh, about the girls not letting their husbands, boyfriends watch all those uh, NFL or football, whatever, soccer games. I think you should just let them do what they want. A lot of these women called and complained saying, oh, my husband cheated on me. Oh, he went out. If you just let them watch the game at home, there'd be no reason for them to go out. Give them what, you, what they want. They want chips. They want beer. Go and get it and give it to them, and he'll be right there next to you. There's no reason for them not to let them watch what they want to watch. Right. I mean, my husband works very hard. He comes home, and, you know, he's a very good man, and why not treat him the way he wants to be treated? I totally agree with you. Yes. Well, Tom, I just wanted to let you know, and, you know, I love you. You are absolutely the best. I respect you so much for telling the truth because it, it's very hard to tell the truth, but you're great at it, and I love you. Well, thank you so much, dear. It's Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how are you? Great. I just wanted to comment. Um, I have to agree with one of the other gals that said all the other women that have called have been extremely disrespectful to you. And that just gives, you know, those of us that are respectful a bad name. Um, another thing, you know, I, on a typical work week, work more hours than my husband. I do all the cooking, the cleaning, um, all of the housework, and I have no problem with him sitting down and watching a football game if he wants to once a week, twice a week. Whatever, because he's totally respectful to me. If I ask him to help me out with something, he does it. I don't have to nag. Sounds good to me. And I um, I think maybe the other woman, if they started treating their man better, then the guys would treat them better. And, you know, vice versa. So I think it goes both ways. I think you make some good points. Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Great. Hey, uh, I guess I got the exception to the rule. I, uh, I've i broken many of your rules, and I apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, I got out of the Army, got married. I'm only 24, but when it comes to you know, my marriage and sports, football game comes on, wife leaves. It's beautiful. Wow. You know, when it, uh, I got four, city, or four tickets to go see the Chargers and, uh, you know, even offered to take her. No, nah, not interested, not at all. Don't want to go. Perfect. <laughs> You're off to the races. Yeah, we're leaving from Maui tomorrow for our uh, one-year anniversary, too. So, I mean, life's good, Tom. Loving it. Well, just remember, football starts at 7 a.m. in Maui. <laughs> I will be. Well, actually, the Chargers got a bye week this week, so I'm uh, not going to be uh, watching them, but I'll be watching some other games. Well, I'm telling you, I've spent a lot of time. Where are you staying in Maui? Yeah. Uh, what is it, the uh, Weston? The Weston, I've been there many times at Kanapali. Let me yep. tell you something. Uh, they, there's a nice uh, bar there with a TV set. And uh, 7 a.m., everybody's got the Bloody Marys, and they're off to the races. Right on. Maybe I'll send a little lady to go get a massage, and I'll sit there and uh, watch football and get drunk. That's the way to go. <laughs> right on, Tom. Hey, take me out with a hail of gunfire. A hail of gunfire. Oh, All yes, right, Mike. Sir. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Eldon on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Aloha, Tom. Aloha, Eldon. Hey, you know what? The guys up there, even though they're stuck in these really crappy relationships and they got pussy whipped by their wives or girlfriends, whatever, they still got it better than down here in Hawaii because we got our games going on at six, seven o'clock in the morning. There are no bars open for us to go to to watch the game. You got to go to the hotel bars. Yeah, but then you're really pretty much stuck there with the really cheesy alcoholics that kind of ruin the game for Who you. Who is going to be drinking at 7 a.m. except a cheesy alcoholic? Well, that's what I mean. I mean, come on. With a, with a good football game, you got to have a good beer. Well, that's what the alcoholics believe, too. Believe me. 
Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.